Uh, right, cover A. Uh, Weber's covering um, a couple of hints I'll give you, but you're covering, uh, you're covering house, uh, sorry, cap room, uh, balk. Uh, you can always just push up and you walk, do a bit of Russian walking. It's better to Russian walk on the carpets because it makes noise when you're on these, very identified noise. Um, when you're pushing up, it's best to have teammates and everything to tell tell you tell that you're pushing up. You've got to call what you're doing and call what other people are seeing, what what you're seeing and shit like that. Um, if you can hear people uh, second mid, obviously you should be able to differentiate between one person's footsteps and two pe person's footsteps. So if you stood here and you can hear them, you know, if you can't differentiate differentiate between two and four or two and three, then say at least two second mid. You know, because you can hear them. So that means if there's if someone calls three at banana, that means you know that there's three at banana, and there's two at second mid. That means you could easily have the guys at mid could easily, since there's been called three at top banana and two at second mid, two of you can simply push down like that. You don't see them. So you walk right up to the back of the guys that are at banana. Just walk all the way down and, and shoot the guys in the back of banana. That's why calling where people are is so important. Because if you know there's two at, two at mid, two at second mid, and three at top banana, you can easily make it past them or shoot them in the side of the head, whatever, and get to the other guys. You know, it's it's that's why calling where people are is very important. Uh, anyway, going to back up and everything in a minute. To hold in positions, uh, this is one. Obviously, the terrorists can flash you. Is that one as well? Spamming there will be on steps. Spamming there will be like pretty much down steps, so pretty much in the middle. That is pretty much right, right down where the uh, right at the bottom of the steps in between. You can always hear him if you got this on. You, you'll hear thud thud. If you're in thud thud, just keep spraying. And then if you see him move out, just move back. So obviously you've only got a little tiny gap. You know, so you just simply do that, and then you, you'll hear a dum dum, you know, thud thud. And then you just simply spray and then move out if you hit, if you see him move up, and then lob a nade in or whatever. Uh, the best spot I've always found is, especially if your teammates are playing, uh, a, you know, top and top uh, mid. If playing top mid, then the best spot to actually play, I find, is either is either on top of here like this, and run around, you just clap them straight at the head, or down here like this. Because they'll be they'll be top banana. I mean they'll be top mid, so you shouldn't be getting shot from a uh, balcony. I mean sniper deck, so you should be all right. And then they'll they'll terrorists will run out and they'll look down there most of the time, nine times out of ten. And then you shoot them in the back of the head as a walk past. It's da -da 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 -da. simple as that. You've got that spot. It's a uh, that's a bit. Um, it's good if there's say if there's one of you at quad and one of you at mini pit because you know you either a guy's rotated to B or one's dead or whatever it's bad it's not bad for that because then you you know you don't get you don't really have a problem with being flashed much you can always duck towards flashes and shit you know do that and the flashes go off and you simply get back up again it's not a bad spot it's not an amazing spot though if you if your teammates remember if your teammates are playing up there this is all about teammates playing up there out there that's a good spot as well you see pretty, pretty much see the heads pop around you just straight inside uh, you can always play back here as well. Remember, this is only if your teammates are either well, teammates are up there or one of them's in quad watching that like that. And then you can be back here and you'll simply see the heads go past. You know, just nade in, whatever. Right. And, uh, if a teammate's dead or one of them's rotated, okay, there's only two of you in a in a site. One of you needs to play here, watching basically CT arch, okay. Right, or you need to be, you know, here or whatever. Basically, you, you can't get the terrorists shouldn't be able to get past here. If there's two of you. Don't play it like this. Okay, you need to make sure that you can't get shot in the ass. Okay, you want to be you want to be playing it where you're fully covered, where you can see it. You know, always fully covered. Whatever. Okay, that's if there's two of you left. You know, and obviously there's a. That spot as well, whatever. Uh, the best spot though, which I've found, which is just absolutely amazing, it nearly always works. The guy who covers quad, he, you can cover two places at once here. You get on top of here, you move back until you like that, okay? And then when they move in, you usually, usually aim back here, because that's, if anyone's coming out about, they're more likely to look behind 
and then towards you while these guys are probably looking sight. And then what happens is if a guy runs up bulk, you shoot him. If a guy runs quad, you shoot him. So you cover both at the same time, you see, yeah? This is a, you always have to take this spot. It's a really good spot. It's one of the best spots to cover both both positions when you've only got two of your left. Memorise that, okay? Because that's a really good one. Uh, right. That's... <laughs> you can get spam through the wall there, though, can't you, if he's coming up yeah, to you can, the carpet you, Yeah, you can, but... Yeah, you can simply move out the way of it, though. It's not a huge, it's not a yeah. huge deal, and not many people use it. Uh, if you're covering... Um, Covering quad, you can cover it from here. You can cover it in defensive if you like from here. Well, actually, when you're covering quad, what it means is you're covering balcony. Okay, that, that's that's well, sorry, sniper deck. When you're covering quad, that's usually what that's usually what it means anyway. Your your whole your whole point of your existence is to make sure nobody comes out there. Because if you've got a teammate watching mid, which is basically what that teammate's there for, is watching mid. He doesn't want to get shot from there. Uh, so it's basically like that, you know, you can always cover it from back here. It's up there as well, then you can always just, you know, have a little look out. It depends how you're playing. That's not a bad one either, when they usually look out as well. It's a good way, it's, it's better to more of a teamwork, teamwork way of uh, working things. Uh, there's always defensive ones, of course. You play defensive in sight. Remember, you've got to always tell people that you're playing defensive. So then, whoever's playing in bulk, whoever's playing in in a uh, CT arch, they always they they will know not to play offensive by themselves or whatever. Okay, you need to make sure that people know this. Otherwise, you, people expect backup or people get shot in the ass because you're not meant to be watching something. You know, it's simple enough to play there or in sight, right at the back. You could always play here as well, but anyway, uh, mainly it's good to have teamwork though. These two up here, these two are a team, so you want to talk to each other, the pe people who are too top mid. Like, if you're watching Arch, you can usually watch it from, yeah, Paul's going, but he already knows all this, already gone through it with him. Can't try See you in a bit, dude. If you're watching Arch, uh, basically this is a good spot as well. You can always just also as well if you're watching up top. You know, the usual crossfire one. You stand here, your teammate stands like pretty much across from you, but a bit to that side, so you don't shoot him in the head or whatever when someone pops out. You can always do stacks. You can have one guy, you know, you can have a guy here, then a guy on top of your head. There's another one where you can do the, the baiting, where you have one guy here, like that, and then you have another guy against the wall here. And then what happens is they move. This guy we're watching. Sniper deck, and then this guy will be watching there. And then Terrace pops out, shoots, moves back to about here. Terrace then runs out, who, who's obviously looking that way. And then this guy starts shooting. When he's when this guy starts shooting, this guy then from here moves out again and starts helping. You know, same sort of bait and switch sort of thing. Uh, there's also boost on top of uh, there. You come in, duck down on head, jump, jump up. And then you pretty much just move to here like that. And then you can go in the corner and you can watch mid. And then if any if any of them pull out, you know, push mid, then you simply just move out and start shooting, you know, all that sort of shit. Basically, it's not hard to cover. You just got to do it uh, at the same time. But remember, you've always got to say if you're playing, uh, playing together or not. One of you will just have to call, say, uh, oh, play defense this, this round, play uh, top mid this time, play uh, uh, bait and switch at CT arch, jungle, um... You know, uh, boost on the uh, boost on the roof at mid. Um, uh, if you're playing defensive, I'm playing defensive in sight, covering quad, and then that means that this guy can say, "Oh, I'll play def I'll, I'll play defensive in in mini pit watching CT arch then," or he can say, "I'm playing defensive actually in arch CT spawn area," so you can play like like there or something. You know, make sure you always say it though, because otherwise you'll you you'll be top mid, one of you'll be top mid, and the other guy will be sat in fucking in sight, and then you'll expect backup when they get any. So yeah. Anyway, that's not very hard. Uh, is that all right? Don't need to go through anything else. Oh, uh, other other things as well to help. That's right. Uh, <laughs> say for teammates, if you both play the bait and switch, you think right, um, pop mid for me, pop flash mid. Teammate stands here like this. This teammate can go back here, and what happens is you just go like that, pretty much against the wall until you can't be seen from there. Kneel down and then flash. 
boom. Please so goes off lots of boost into sniper deck just in case. Uh, that's T side anyway, mate. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, um, yeah, but I mean like defend them. Yeah. Anyway, I'll go for that in a sec. Yeah. Um, like I said, the flash goes off there. Look, it was a pop flash. See how it was done? Easy. Boom, goes off. Move out. That's it. Don't move out any further. Just simply move out like that. Okay. And then if there's terrorists, terrorists there, most of them will be blind. And then obviously rape them and whatnot. You can also do. Remember, you have to talk to each other. You have to ask for these things. Okay. Say, so can you pop flash me mid, please? Or uh, the guy at balcony, can you pop flash me mid? That means you stand here like this and just go. Meh. And then you can just stand here like that, and then it'll go off, and then it can move out. Whatever. Okay, these are all things that are easy enough to do. I showed you the pop flash from CT Arch, and there's a pop flash from Balk, obviously. You know, just bleh. Those sort of things, that's it. But you've got to ask them, you've got to say pop flash mid for me, for, uh, Balk guy, whoever's Balk, you say, uh, whoever he is. Ryan Conway, whoever's there, say Conway, can you pop flash mid for me? And they'll say yes or no, I ain't got no flashes. Or you say, uh, whoever's at CTI, say pop flash mid for me, and they'll go yeah. Then you simply stand here, and then they'll pop flash it. Then you move out, whatever. That sort of shit. Simple as that. You've always got to ask them. And obviously, you can hear people boosting if they're doing it badly as well. If they're jumping up and down, you can hear them doing it. Uh, if they're any good at it, which most people should be, then you won't really hear that much. You'll hear like one boost. And obviously, you can boost in there. Um, I think that's pretty much it for pop for flashes and shit. Uh, obviously, if you want to be if you want to be pushed, say your uh, uh, your mate's fallen back and he's watching, say s sniper deck from here or whatever, you can say the guy at bulk can say, oh, can you pop flash me in house? And you say, yeah, sure. And you stand here and you go like, you go like that, and then it goes off like that. It goes off pretty much dead on where I was. And so then you stand there and it boom it goes off and you're in or you can stand there like that as well and it comes in and it'll go off round up there and then boom and you move out and then there could be like five terrorists there and you just kill them all. You know, it's all about it's all about uh, coordination and asking people for well not favours but teamwork, you know. Like I say, pop flashing and all that shit. It's a piece of piss, just make sure you ask for it.